Hey everybody, thank you for joining in. Today we're going to take a look at the Storm 100 from VaporStormEsig.com. I picked this up over on eFunTop.com for $25.99. It's a 100 watt box mod. Um, it does temperature control. It does only, it's basic temperature control. It does your nickel, titanium, and 316 stainless steel. No TCRs or nothing. It's just a basic temperature control 100 watt box mod. Um... <clears throat> I like to try different things when I, you know, I see them and try them out to see if it's a, a product that's going to be good for someone that's looking for a decent second mod or even a first one that's that can grow with them a little bit. This is a nice little mod. It's 22 millimeters across this way, so you're going to have a smaller, like your smaller tanks or your smaller atomizers, like I have a dark horse onto here. Um, 22 millimeter, but it looks really sweet onto it, matchy matchy all the way through. <laughs> um, what else did I tell you? It's got your uh, ergonomic, so it sits in your hand nice, just like this here. Um, your fire button's right up on top here, so it sits nice and... It's got a 3200 mod built-in battery into it. But let's get up and close and personal and take a look at it down below. Go grab your vape and meet me there. All right, so here we are down below, and this is the way it comes into here. It tells you that it says Storm 100, and then it says uh, Vapor Storm Box Mod, and on the bottom there it has your website, www.vstormesig.com. On this side here, it tells you that the colors come in, and the black is the one that was checked off, because that's the color we got. It comes in black, blue, white, red, and I did see a wood grain one also. Here it just says Vapor Storm, and then there's your website again. On the back side, it's going to say Vapor Storm and then the website, and then it's going to break down and tells you what it is 510, your fire button, um, your shift switch, your OLED screen, and your USB. It does have a uh, verification for scratch and sniff onto it, and then it tells you what your specifications and everything onto there, but it also will go onto the inside. When you open this up here, I like the presentation. I like these little boxes that have the drawers into it, just, it's just a lot more neater looking. And the first thing we look at is your um, manual, and it's just a very simple manual. Here it tells you that it just says Vapor Storm. It gives you a little thank you for choosing the Vapor Storm. Um, it tells you the contents right here. It gives you the specifications here. And then on the back side here, it tells you the operation guidelines. It tells you how to go through all the different modes onto this. And then here it tells you it has your cautions onto it. And I just wanted to read this to you. It says, keep the Storm 100 away from water and fire. Um, next line is it says, keep the Storm 100 away from children and pregnant women. So keep it away from them too. Uh, do not use it when it is in charging so it is not passed through. And choose a suitable watt to prevent damage to the coil. Then over here it just tells you all your different... Um, your nose do's and don'ts and their website onto it but i do like that and it's not a cheap one it's like i said it's almost like a vinyl feel onto it pretty cool onto it um what else comes in the box what else is in the box there's your mod and then you also get a usb for the charging of it so let's get these out of the way and then we'll go over the specs onto the mod itself and on this side here it says storm 100 it's got a nice, almost like a fat daddy type of uh, 510, and it, I bel it is a spring-loaded 510. Nice throw onto it. Not too stiff, but it it's accepted everything I've put onto it. It is only 22 millimeters across this way, but if you go to dimensions, it's 22 millimeters going across this way, 55 millimeters this way, and 77, I believe it was, from top to bottom onto it. You do have your uh, fire button onto this side here. As you can see, it's got to ergonomically, and just the way it fits into your hand, it's made actually for like a right hand, because if you go to use it this way, it's kind of uncomfortable to fire, I mean, even though you can see it. But for me, when I'm using it, I like to fire it this way here. So you have your your power, and well, it says locked right now because that's what it is in the off mode. You have your up and down, and then your OLED screen, and then your USB port here. On the bottom here, it does have some venting, and again, this has a built-in 3200 mAh battery into it. And uh, and then over here, it just says Vapor Storm. Let's throw an atomizer onto it, and then we'll turn it on, and we'll go from there. 
Uh, let's use this one. I've been using this Dark Horse onto here. It fits really, really nice and looks really good onto it as well. So, I put my Dark Horse on. It's in the 22 millimeter, but with that black and the silver, I mean, it just... It looks good all together as one unit, and it's only a 100 watt unit, and it does have your uh, temperature control. It's going to got it has your nickel, titanium, and um, 316 stainless steel, no TCR, uh, anything like that to change. So you only have those three modes. So to turn this on here, <clears throat> we'll turn it this way. You click if, uh, if you see where it says locked. That's in the locked mode, but to uh, turn it on, click it five times. One, two, three, four, five. And now we're on and let's see if I can bring in the screen so you can see the screen and it's rolling 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 but up here it has your ohms and then your volts and then it tells you your what you have on here for the power on the bottom here and then it has your watts over here and then it has your battery indicator right here and so to get into your um, temperature control you would hit your fire button three times and I wish it would just show that where it shows that there okay see where it says that and I click this three times one two three nickel and it shows here that it goes um, your Fahrenheit will go all the way down from 200 Fahrenheit all the way up to 600 Fahrenheit and I don't believe it round robins No, so if I believe you click it two more times and Then now you're into Celsius and it will go all the way down to 100 all the way up to 315 on Celsius And then click it back again so one two three and now you got your titanium and then here it's going to show you your 316 L and down here it says 316 stainless steel three more times two more that'll get you for your Fahrenheit again so I was running some coils in here for stainless steel so and then three and now we're back to wattage so they're pretty simple manual onto it uh, nothing spectacular it fires really t relatively quick um that's about all i can say let me take a rip onto this and why don't we meet me up on top and i'll tell you my final thoughts onto it all right so again we took a look at the storm 100 from vapor storm um, nice little compact little unit like I said and it looks good with that dark horse on there 22 millimeter um, it's a basic mod I mean it's a hundred watt mod you're gonna have nickel I don't use nickel it's got titanium I don't use titanium I do use 316 so that's that's good so there's two options I'll use stainless steel or the regular power so it's perfect $25.99 over on efund.com um, Evenontop.com. I'm sorry. I'll leave their links all down below for that. Their Facebook and their Instagram. Again, um, I, the only cons I can really see is I don't know. Maybe the power where it says that it's when you go to shut it off, it's supposed it doesn't shut off. It just goes to the lock position. So even if you were to like put this in there and it, if it's in the lock mode, it's gonna and it hits the button, it's gonna light up. So you're still gonna drain draw battery. So it, that's the only really downfall. I mean, like I said, but it's a basic mod. Um, 3,200 mod battery, it's going to last you a long time. I run it on a higher wattage, but even running it at between 85 to 95 watts, uh, I usually just using it for the stripper. I get some good life out of it. Um, I did throw a tank onto it, and I did use it one day at work. And I think I got probably about... About six hours of use, but I, I, this stays in my hand all day long. Where I work, I can walk around and vape all day long. So I vape just like if I'm home and I'm vaping, vaping, vaping. So six hours of steady use, I was very impressed with it. So 
I can definitely recommend it for that price there. Definitely go check it out. Like I said, I'll go leave the link down below. Again, thank you for everybody for joining in. That's going to do it for tonight. So until the next time. Keep vaping.